great feature that can be achieved if you own a Roland BN20, and also a Roland cutter as well, is the crop cut feature. Taking a print from your BN20 and actually cutting it on the cutter itself. To do this, it all starts in the VersaWorks software. Within VersaWorks, we already have our BN20 set up, but we need to also add our cutter to it as well. So, we'll go up to Printer, and Printer Settings. Within here, we're going to want to go ahead and add a new printer. Click on this blank space here, and because our cutter is connected via USB, we'll go to USB. We obviously don't want the BN20, and we want the GS24. Go ahead and verify, and hit apply, and after that hit OK. Notice we have a GS24 queue down here, and we'll go over that in a little bit, but we need to set up this job for print and cut. So we'll go ahead and open up our job, and just like usual, we'll set up our layout. Go into our quality settings, make sure we print it for the right media that we're printing on. And after that, under marks, you're going to want to make sure you hit crop marks. That way I'll print those out there. And then finally we'll go to cut controls. Making sure that it's set up for print only. After you have all that set up, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And we'll print this job on your BN20. After the machine's done printing, you'll notice we'll have a set of crop marks actually made. We'll have our front crop marks here, and then also we'll have two rear crop marks as well in the back. Now it's going to be important that we actually feed out a lot extra material. Reason being is we're going to want to do a test cut on this and we don't want to accidentally cut into the design itself. And also we're going to need that excess material in the back for when we feed it through our GS24. That way the rear sensor still senses media in the back when it's going to read these crop marks. If that sensor wasn't covered when it goes to read, it would think we didn't have enough material and it would cancel our job. So let's go ahead, lift up our pinch rollers, go ahead and feed out a little extra material for us here, making sure we got more than enough to cover up that sensor. And once we get that cut off, we're ready to take it over to our GS24. Like I was showing before, it would obviously feed through down in the bottom. These will be our front crop mark sensors. That's going to read first and the rear afterwards. And we have that extra media to make sure when the front or back sensors come up that it's actually going to read it and still be covering our rear sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this back and we're going to go in backwards just so I can uh, do our test cut. So I'll make sure we're loaded into place here. And just setting up my sheet settings. And when it comes across and reads, I'm going to go ahead and do a test cut. Make sure before this though, you do change your force to the recommended settings. So after it completes the test cut, just want to weed out the circle. Notice the square stayed back, so we'll weed that out too. And also it left our fine detail mark as well. So we can take that as well. So this is a good test cut so we know we're ready to go ahead and print. Lift back up our pinch rollers. It will say sheet unloaded so I'll just go ahead and hit the menu button to tell it okay. Flip it back the other way. It's always good to know that this is always the crop mark with the bar here. That'll go up to the front. So we'll go ahead and load that through. Now when loading this, it's very important, the small black cutting strip that comes along it, that's where your optical eye reads. So we want to make sure that all three of these pieces are sitting along that. And so that's what I'm trying to straighten out first. And 
And once I get that where I like it, holding it in place, bring down our rollers, and go ahead and set up the job. After that, we'll go over to VerseWorks and actually send this job to the cutter. So now, back inside VerseWorks, we've already printed our job in the BN20 section. So what we do is we left click, hold, and drag the job down into our GS24 section. And if I just double click on this job to open it, notice it's just got cut controls and it's already set up for cut only. Because VersaWorks knows that we did that as a print job over here with crop marks that we're just going to be a cut only over here when we bring it to our GS24. Now, because we have it already aligned on our GS24, all we have to come down is hit the print button and it'll go look for the registration marks. So our optical guy came in and read the first mark. Go come across and read the second front mark. We'll come and read our third mark. And then over to read the fourth. By reading these four marks, it's going to know the position of the rest of the cut job because VersaWorks will tell it where the location is to cut. And it will go ahead and cut our job. So, after our job is now cut, done cutting, I can go ahead and release the pinch rollers. And I'll just weed up a corner just to show you. And as you can see, the crop cutting is complete and it actually cut around our decals for you. So just like that, you can print from your BN20 and get extra cutting speed from your GS24 by the use of VersaWorks. I'm Joe Burt with Stalls TV.